Another question for you. In these types of situations, you know how sometimes, and again, I, I keep referencing movies because the average person has seen the movies. And there's a scene where, you know, we, we have it under control. And we, we, we're taking care of this here. And then FBI shows up and says, you guys are dismissed. The, we got it. The FBI is here. And we got, Can, we're doing a we. Why are they going to do this? You guys are dismissed. You're out of here. In, in this situation, who is superior to who? PD, local, FBI, Secret Service. Who follows the lead so they're all communicating together? The United States Secret Service is supposed to be the lead agency for protecting the president and the former president. Got it. So the Secret Service. And you know, the sad thing is, Patrick, my confidence is so shaken in all the federal agencies that they are so incapable of self-correction, of self-reflection, of cleaning up their own problems that I don't know that we'll ever get to the bottom of all the things that went wrong in the situation. And that's terrible. That, that makes us feel and smell more like the Soviet Union, where it's a collection of lies in a, in a, in a, um, a house of cards. And that's really troubling. If you can't trust your institution to say, okay, this was bad and we really screwed up and this is where we screwed up and we're not going to do that again. I don't think any of the federal agencies are capable of that discipline anymore. And that is really, really troubling because the Secret Service was a great institution. It was seen as credible. I mean, we look at how quickly they got Ronald Reagan off the X when John Hinckley opened fire. Quick, very quick. They, they left tr President Trump there on the X for almost a minute, not knowing what to do. You hear the audio. What are we doing? Where are we going? It was, it was Keystone Cops, not the highly proficient professional, not the premier protection organization in the world. It is another global embarrassment for America and our institutions. And we, des as taxpayers and as citizens, we deserve better. So on, on the Ronald Reagan clip, Rob, if you have it, just to show it, so to reference exactly what he's talking about, I've been to that hotel and go ahead, play the clip. Washington Hilton. He's already gone. See that? He's already in the car and gone. Uh, Rob, back up again. Rob, back up again one more time. Go all the way to the beginning. Eleven seconds gone. And the, and the sad thing is, it was the sixth shot, the last shot that Hinckley took was the one that hit him. And it actually hit the, the, the hinge of the, armored, of the armored car door. And that flattened bullet struck Reagan under the left arm, uh, penetrated his lung. Um, and uh, thank God they diverted to uh, George Washington uh, University Hospital. Uh, that saved him. But um, yeah, it doesn't Rob, take much. I, I, want, I want to show something here. Rob, can you go back to that clip? And I want the audience to look for this. See how many uh, 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 women are Secret Service agents. Go ahead and play this clip. Go for it. Find one. Zero. <laughs> So now, so it's zero. Okay. Do me a favor. So here's, here, if you can stop playing that clip and maybe go to the clip, because this is this is what I did. I mean, just out of curiosity, I, when I watched President Trump when he got shot, I saw a lot of women who were there as Secret Service agents. A lot of them. It wasn't like one or two. It was a lot of them. So then I said, okay. Maybe it's a new thing because, you know, Biden is the one that's all about the underrepresented community and we need to have LGBTQ and women and all this stuff. So I go and Google, um, you know, uh, uh, Joe Biden, if you can approve the site to come up, uh, Kelly, I go and look up Joe Biden's uh, Secret Service agent. So watch this. Male 
everybody's male, 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 male. I don't see a single female. Look at this, three male. I don't see a single female Secret Service agent female. It's all male everywhere. So on one end, why is it that uh, President Biden doesn't trust women as Secret Service agents for himself? But why would he assign Secret Service agents that are women, so many of them, to President Trump? Rules for thee, but not for me. Look, the, the, the Secret Service doesn't up their coverage on the presidential candidates until they actually receive the nomination. Now, the fact is Trump's been the nominee for months now, but he's also been the former president. So he's, he's uh, certainly re requiring that level of protection. It's um, maybe they have their, their A team on the president. Uh, it's also a fact that Jill Biden had some other event in the area. And so she demanded other Secret Service resources be covering for her. I mean, look, you wonder why Joe Biden is running for president again? It is, it's his wife. She even got the Marine Band, you know, because the Marine Band plays Hail to the Chief on any kind of official walk-on song. And Jill Biden had the Marine Band generate a song for the First Lady, walk-on music for her when she has an official event. So that's a family that has the will to power. And um, I guess the rest of the federal government is suffering from it. Uh, you know, another story we were looking at, and by the way, let me stay on this thing here just to kind of show you, to get your thoughts on this. And I don't know how much of this you're following or not. So the first thing I did, I said, I, I want to know who our, you know, chief of a uh, secret service agent head is. And you'll see, uh, uh, she'll come up here, Kimberly Cheadle. Okay. Yep. So you can go look her up and what her background is. Kimberly Cheadle, an American law enforcement officer who served as a 27th director of United States Service, Secret Service. Let me see how many in the past we've had as female. Okay, boom, 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 boom. She's the we first have, female. Well, she, Julia Pearson is the second one under Barack Obama. So it looks like we've had two of them, one under Obama and one under Joe Biden, okay, is what we see here. And if I go back and I read her background, what she did, um, joined Secret Service 1995, Dick Cheney, Obama. She did some other work budget-wise. She served as a senior director of global security at Pepsi-Cola, where she was responsible for directing and implementing security protocols for companies, facilities in North America. Her role involves development risk management. And then I saw uh, uh, Ann Coulter uh, post this saying female secret service agent fails situational judgment course ability to separate gunmen from innocent civil civilians. Kimberly Cheadle authorized her graduation anyway in order to fill the girl quota. I don't know how much credibility is behind this or not, but when I went over here and I looked at some of this stuff, this becomes deeply concerning. Do you think America and specifically? President Biden and maybe the uh, uh, opposing side is sitting there saying, listen, maybe this DI stuff is a bad idea. Definitely when it comes down to Secret Service, definitely when it comes down to protection, definitely when it comes down to certain things. For example, as a father, I got four kids. I don't want a babysitter to be a guy. I just don't. I want a babysitter to be a woman because she's more gentle, loving, a different way of taking care of my kids. There are certain jobs. I don't, I don't want a man to do the job. I want a woman to do the job. When it comes down to protecting the president, the potential president, this is not a place where DEI becomes an argument. Do you think this is going to cause people on the opposing side to say, guys, this is a terrible idea. We got to get rid of this idea permanently moving forward. Let's have men protect our presidents in the future. I don't think it'll change the left's opinion until it affects someone the left cares about. If, if, I mean, when you see some of the awful comments made by the left about um, uh, encouraging people to aim better, it's it's ugly. I, I don't think the left will change their opinion until they're made to suffer. They're made to live with the consequences of their um, social engineered, politically uh, incorrect or politically correct um, paradigm. Again, whether you're the pilot of Air Force One, whether you're protecting the president, whether you're a um, submarine captain, I don't care what gender they are, 
who they sleep with. I don't care. I just want them to do the exact job that is necessary and have maximum, have a well of capability um, to do that job. And when you inject race and gender and sexual preference and whatever else into it, it is distracting from the mission. America was built as being a meritocracy. And this is a fundamental um, difference. Um, it's it, 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 it's a Sovietization of America based on so that all appointments are based on politics, not based on merit. Yeah, because, uh, you know, I was disappointed to see that Joe Biden didn't have any Secret Service members that were lesbian, gay or trans and they were all white males. It's kind of little, you know, according to their yeah. own words, it's a little racist to only have white male protecting you. Why don't you trust? women or gays and lesbians to protect you a little bit contradictory i was a little bit concerned that he wasn't being aligned with his own philosophies when i saw that in these uncertain times if there's anything we need is we need people to believe the future looks bright so you if you've heard about me saying this mission to you we're on a mission to get a million people to wear this gear and this is what we're doing if you buy one of these hats there's a category of buying one hat getting the second one free if you haven't yet worn this gear publicly Go ahead and test it out, buy some of the gear, wear it in public, and see how many people will stop by and say, you're also, you also watch a value team? You, you also follow PBD Podcast? I do too. Place your order, go to vtmerch.com, click on the link above or below, place your order, and represent the VT and the PBD Podcast gear. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here, and if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.